Awesome. Mike's Daily Podcast. Hey, are you enjoying the election happening right at this moment? Oh, maybe you're listening to this week's days, perhaps years later, and you don't care. Mike's Daily Podcast. Well, right now it's sort of happening, and it's like neck and neck at this point. Who knows what's going to happen? What the heck? And I don't know. I think I'm just going to sing the song, and then I'll end it. And you'll say, say what? What's wrong with you, Mike? 170 million votes. Mike's Daily Podcast. 170 million votes casted. That's the most since 1906. Wow. Mike's Cafe Wow. Daily Cafe Anyway. Podcast. And some of you may have said, Yeah, that'll never happen. But it did. Well. I have to say that we might have a special guest here in a little bit. We'll see. But I watched a show last night called Connections on Netflix, and it was very informative. There's this young man who looks kind of like a cross between Weird Al Yankovic and a marionette, who then tells us interesting things about how we use surveillance and monitor everybody and we like when you're on tinder which i have to say i think i'm the only person on the planet that's never used tinder that's terrible what for the the, yeah really and i'll tell you why it is because i used the other thing the okay cupid and oh sorry yeah, it went. It didn't go too good for me, so I gave up. And I found my lovely lady friend whilst uh, in the natural way with Basil the Boxer, who will bark for you in just a little bit. And so it was a natural way of meeting somebody, and that was wonderful for me. I walked up to her and I said, <laughs> And it was awesome. And did I mention I was watching something on... And here's today's podcast picture. Netflix. Yeah, no kidding. Okay. So, sorry for that odd noise. You might hear that from time to time. So, I'll get back to that Netflixy thing in just a moment. But first, the podcast picture today. I did I meant to post this picture from <laughs> We voted. Oh, should I post a picture of us voting? We we found this drop box in Podcastro Valley. There were no lights. And oh, you know what? It was right next to these tennis courts in Podcastro Valley. That's right, Basil. You and I walked past there many times. Yes, you and I did. It was fun when we walked by there, you and I. And everybody would see us and go, oh, what a beautiful dog. The late great... Basil the Boxer, I voted right there, Basil, and this box, this voting box is sitting in this dark parking lot. No lights except for the lights from the tennis courts. Nobody there. But hey, it was a secure drop box. We threw our ballots in, and I should actually check to make sure my ballots got counted. I think there's a some kind of a website. Oh, I'm going to do that right after this. Thanks for reminding me. But I just wanted to pass, post one last picture from Halloween from this past weekend where uh, somebody down the street from me did a really cool thing with uh, some kind of pumpkin head. It was all hand done. Like he didn't buy any of this stuff. He made it himself. It looked like a, a oh, it was a pumpkin man with uh, like a scarecrow pumpkin man. With all these skulls everywhere. See that picture at mikesdailypodcast.com. Look who's here. Hey, what's up, Mike? No. Yes, it is none other than Ken Luttrell. Yes, I've I've returned once again. Actually, we can take our mask off. That really got out of hand fast. (laughs) How you doing, Ken? I'm good. How are you? What are we talking about today? I was talking about the Dropbox that I put... (laughs) My vote in it oh. was it was a secure Dropbox location, but oh, it, it was in this really dark parking lot in Podcastro Valley. Oh, well, that's that's kind of good that it was an official one because you know about the fake ones that were going around. Now this one I found through the website. What's that? 
ACT.org, whatever the vote, whatever that website is on the back of your ballot. That's right. what as I went to. As long as it's to. like .gov or .org. .gov. Yeah, yeah. Then you can trust those. That's good. Not .china or .russia. That's not good. No, we don't want that. Or .trump. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, so that's going to be a new domain. What name, was the podcast com. picture? I missed it. I heard you talking about the pumpkins and your Halloween. And how was your Halloween actually on Saturday? It was good. Yes, I haven't podcasted since Halloween. And we mm-hmm. basically got home. I, I, I wasn't home. Oh, did you go out? Yeah. Trick or treating? We went out to dinner. <laughs> oh, okay. Different. It, there was I don't know how many people went to the house because I completely avoided it. And Were you in Podcaster Valley, ten? Yeah, yes. The last place on earth. Well, I can't find the podcast picture here. <laughs> it's okay. Do you see don't this worry cat? This cat is like Aww. this cat is a stray. Oh, look how and, sad. And he looks so cute, and it does. you want to go up and pet this cat, but was you can't because fr- he runs away. Oh, he's a scaredy cat. Yeah. How's your podcast going? It's going well. Because this is crap. <laughs> it's going well. We, uh, I just posted a new uh, episode today. We recorded it last week, though. Um, but I made the disclaimer that it was recorded the day before uh, Halloween. It was actually Mischief Night. But you don't oh. know about Mischief Night, do you? Because you're from California. Oh, what is Mischief Night? Mischief Night, it seems to be that it's only around in, like, New Jersey or maybe the Northeast area. It's where, like, the, it's the day before Halloween where people throw eggs at houses or cars or toilet paper, people's houses. And it's just a rambunctious. Um, there's another name for it, too, besides Mischief. It's, called, it's also called Devil's Night. If you ever watched the Crow movie, uh, they talked about oh. that. With the Brandon s- Lee, Brandon Lee, yes, Bruce, right. Bruce Lee's um, son. Oh, I remember so, that. Yeah, part mm-hmm. of that. But yeah, um, there's another oh, name for it. Here it is. Oh, here it is. This is the. Can you see that? As we go outside a cafe, anyway, we're bringing Mike's Daily Podcast on the Podcast Row Valley, Mont today. Mont, yes, that's right. The last place on earth. Oh, it's very nice. That's kind of bizarre. I like that. Is there like plants in there? Those look like plants. So it is somebody's garden, and they made it into this garden from hell. It looks like a tomato plant from where I'm looking. Because I have a tomato oh. plant, and they look, they're just the leaves from where I can see. It looks like that. Uh, it's nice. I was talking about a documentary that I watched called Connections on Netflix, and it's this guy. He's, like, super thin, big glasses, young guy. Uh, his na- last name is Nassar or something. Mm-hmm. Big dark curly head of hair, and he kind of he he actually like he's one of those thin people that's really awkward with their hands. Like, so I don't know if you know, because I'm a millennial, and I don't know if you know what what kind of a show is it. So he does uh, connections between things like surveillance cameras and how we're watching each other with tinder and facebook and oh. all the other stuff that we just give all our information to right to share with the world and every corporation in america and the globe and then he talked about how that same technology is being used to watch pig faces because they they take a picture of all these pigs like in a pen uh-huh. if there's multiple pigs and if they take enough pictures they can tell with all these different pigs of their faces, they can tell if the pigs are in pain, and oh, they really? don't want pigs to be in pain ever, because because well, we're humanitarian, oh. we're pigitarians. But aren't they slaughtered? And I watched it. <laughs> as I watched it, I was eating pork chops, so I felt kind of bad. <laughs> it was kind of contradict, or uh, not contra- Yeah, it was a little contradictory. It was a contradiction. <laughs> But yeah, it's an interesting show because it's it's I guess several episodes. But I had pork chops on Sunday night. So, do you eat it with applesauce? I do not actually. I actually had it with Heinz fifty seven sauce. I don't know if you've ever had that. Oh, it's like barbecue sauce and a one kind of had a baby. My oh, my, lo- my lovely lady friend never had it, so she enjoyed it. Next time I was gonna toss it in the pork. We just kind of dipped it. That sounds delicious. <laughs> it's good. I used to eat. I used to have ketchup with everything. Oh, yeah, me too. I think I, everyone did. At one I point. know someone that eats ketchup, puts ketchup on rice. Yes. 
I'm sure your lovely lady friend does. Is that what you're you're referring to? Maybe. Because many (laughs) people from her area and in in her culture, they use, they put ketchup on the rice. I don't get it. Yep. My brother does it too when he's ever having Spanish food. I'm just like, why? There's no point to that. Uh, Ken, your podcast is going well? (laughs) It's a little slow moving, but we're getting there. We're starting to get a rhythm. And what's it called? It's called Mornings with Maria. It's with me and my mother, Maria from New Jersey. And we have daily conversations about, you know, stuff like this a little bit. But like I said, we're, we're a tag team where you, you kind of ride solo. And I just come in and but, hang out. Sometimes. But occasionally you visit. Sometimes. And then there's also the Cafe Anyway characters that pop by. Oh, who's on Cafe Anyway? Who, who's in Cafe Anyway? Look, who, look who's here. Who is it? Hi, Mark. It's Benita the Rodeo Queen. How y'all doing? Hi, Ken. How you doing, Benita? I'm fine. What's new? What was it? How was your Halloween? It was great. I scared a bunch of kids because I came outside with a gun. Oh, a gun? What kind of a gun? A uh, machine gun. Oh, you got to be careful. <laughs> And I said, get back, because I'm voting for Trump. <laughs> President Putin was extremely strong and powerful. And they ran away, but then they threw an A, because it's mischief not. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Damn. Yikes. I did not expect that sound effect. <laughs> that freaked me out. That was a lot. She really went nuts there. Benita, I didn't think you liked Trump. Yeah, I don't. Then why'd you vote for him? Yeah, because I'm afraid of the Crip Keeper. Huh? What's that? Oh, are you saying that uh, he, the Biden looks a little like the Crypt Keeper? And he might take your gun away? Guns? However many you have? Yeah, I want to keep my gun! Look who else is here. <laughs> hey, Mike. Hey, how's it going, Ken? It's a disgruntled field player tell you what. What? I really enjoyed you talking all about your mom, because everyone needs to remember their moms are important, even when there is a election. Well, that's where we come from, so yeah, it's definitely important. Ladies and gentlemen, we are experiencing <laughs> technical difficulties. Please stand by. <laughs> I didn't expect Don Pardo to show up. Oh, oh my gosh. And finally, look who else is here. Hello, Mac. I make the delicious root beer. Have some right now. Uh, uh, did you vote? No. Don't make me vote. I'll cut you. Oh, boy. Don't You're get, the only don't. person that doesn't want to vote. That's crazy. Your vote counts. What's your name again? I'm the brewmaster. Oh, oh the brewmaster. boy. Yeah, don't cut nobody, though. I might <laughs> cut you. <laughs> Uh, we, I don't think felons can vote. Although there, I think there was something on the ballot that said allow convicts to vote. Um, I think that'll be up for the, was it the next election or this election? I thought it was this one. Oh, I think okay. I voted well, on that. I don't know what I said, but. That, I, that's my point. Today's my point. How on earth is the average person supposed to fill out a California ballot when there is 80 million things that they have to do deep research on? And you know what's funny about that? To interject, this is my first time voting in California, and I agree because I had no idea there were so many props. And I'm like, I'm researching because I'm not going to just pick and choose, you know, because those those matter. Mm -hmm. But there's so many. Yeah. And you're like, well, someone's going to get screwed either way. (laughs) Right, like I mean, it's it's tough. It's too much responsibility. And even you and me, we we were thinking like we talked about the one prop uh, about the Uber and Lyft, and we were I think on opposite sides. But I was just like, well, I think about this, and you were like, well, I think about that, and, and you, you really that's right. You really don't yeah. know. You really don't know. Yeah, point. because and I and I I got your point because you were like for it, and I think it's because it was saying in the literature mm-hmm. that. Uber and Lyft were going to give health benefits to their employees, which I didn't know about that. But then I don't know how much of a carrot that is, if that's really like they're going to give you full on health insurance. Right. Or what. Like what stipulations are involved in that as well? Like how like what kind of health care are we getting here? Yeah. But again, I, I, I just I, I don't know. It, it seemed like there was going to be many Uber drivers that were going to be without work because they can only hire so many to give out full coverage and benefits and 401k maybe who knows but it's tough 
But what do you think about this election? Or what did you think about that election? Because it'll probably be way in the past at this point. And you can tell me 336MM daily, 3 plus 3 equals 6. MM is in Mike Matthews daily is in what this podcast is. Don't disagree with me. It is a daily podcast. <laughs> do not disagree, Ken. We don't check the dates. Oh, Ken. What else did Ken have an issue with? <laughs> I got to have a Ken complaint box. Oh, yeah. I'll just write right a bunch here. of complaints and tell you how I feel about them. My, oh, wait. Can I just say one thing? Yeah, actually, do, yeah. I tell you, this is a, <laughs> a plug and a slug. No. <laughs> <laughs> Who came up with that? Uh, I actually used that on my last podcast. Anyway, oh. I discovered Harry Styles, and I think he is phenomenal. I don't want really to have a slug for him, but he's just a really great. Oh, because we were talking about Rick Springfield, because I don't like Rick Springfield. <laughs> I don't like Rick Springfield. That's right. And you don't like the Dave Matthews fan. That's true. But we, I think we talked, well, no, I don't know if we ever talked about that, but still, I don't understand the appeal with these, these artists that just make music that I'm just like, mm. this, there's no meaning behind this. Harry Styles has meaning. He does. <laughs> in he my does? mind. In my mind. Wait, what, why? I don't what, know. What about him makes you think he has you, meaning? It's not just, it's not just this, his singing. It's the music behind it. It's very. You know what? I think you're just ageist. Because Harry no, Styles that's not true. is young that's and, not he's, true. and he's effervescent that's not and true. Dave Matthews is old and I've bloated. seen Billy Joel in concert and he was one of the best acts I've ever seen. I've seen many well, yeah, bands. Yeah, he's Billy Joel. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I'm not ageist. <laughs> he's the piano man. He is the piano man. Oh, do you know what I saw? We Oh, I haven't told you this yet. Uh, this is exciting because it's happening right here on the podcast. I looked up... Did you know Garth Brooks showed up at the Billy Joel tribute like in 2014? Obama was there, Michelle, oh, no. and, and, and 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 he sang Allentown. He did pretty good. Oh, ignore wow. the sound effect that you and I are hearing right no, now. No, no worries. Nobody else I got hears you. It. Yeah, he uh, sang Allen. That's a that's a weird song to sing for him. And then he went right into Good Night. Goodbye, S- Good Night Saigon, or Goodbye Saigon. I, I forget. Think it's, I think it's Goodbye Saigon. I could be wrong. And Back check that. And that was fantastic because uh, both those songs are on the nylon curtain. How was it? How was it though? And it it it, it was it was, uh, you know what's it, what's the word when you're crying your eyes out, uh, tearful. Oh, and emotional. The, it was emotional. Yeah, because all these vets came out and sang, and we would all go down together. And and everybody's crying. We're and, living the, in Allentown. Town. Uh, all right, so Harry Styles will be the next Billy Joel is what you're saying. No, I'm not saying that at all. Do not. Un- Listen, one of my favorite artists is Phil Collins, but again, it's Phil Collins. He just <laughs> got his ex-wife to finally leave his Miami house. Oh, I heard that. And she had already gotten remarried to some guy from that she met in Vegas. He's got the worst luck with women, huh? That's why he writes songs like... Yeah, I mean, well, you're right. ...In the Air Tonight and... Right. Another Day in Paradise and, it, you know. Or, or go old school. There must be some misunderstanding. Oh my gosh, that's so sad. I was waiting in the rain for hours. You were late. <laughs> I wish it would rain down. That was a that was a good one. Song with Eric Clapton. I remember. That was good. Do, did you want? Were you expecting more from this podcast? Is this what you wanted? Did you know it was episode 2146, 2146? Is there any significance to that? No. Oh, okay, cool. I just always give the numbers because. Yes, you do, because sometimes you forget. <sighs> but, uh, Ken, anything else? No. Um, I hope everyone had who had the opportunity to vote went and voted and hopefully this will be a, you know, a good election or good turnout and hopefully no one goes crazy because either side won and yeah. Absolutely and RIP Sean Connery. I'll take <laughs> I'm not going to do it because there's so many bad. I'll take <laughs> I'll it? take the rapist for, <laughs> I'll take ape tit for 200. <laughs> That's the sound your mother makes, Trebek. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Next show, it'll be the wonderful Madame Rita Mega Valentino Bison Bentley. Daryl Hammond was the best. Or he's alive. Do you know that? I don't know what we're doing here. What's going on? Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.